the baby is asleep and all is well, but all is quiet until along comes a crowd of rowdy sports fans, paparazzi, politicians, they're loud, and more. Now they say never wake a sleeping baby and every new parent knows this is true. New picture book, shh, don't wake the baby. I don't know why I always whisper that, shh, don't wake shh. the baby, is an unauthorised story featuring characters who look an awful lot like Jacinda Ardern and Clark Gayford, along with their newborn and mostly sleeping baby. We welcome publisher Alison Chuck Smith, who came up with the idea for this book, and Scott Pearson, who did the awesome illustrations. It is great to have you both here. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Now, Alison, is this, is this usual for the, this seems a bit strange for the publisher to come up with a book idea. Is that the way it usually works? No, it's not usual, but it's uh, more common these days where we're taking, I guess, bigger risks and seeing what people do and don't like, and we have a plethora of great talent around us, so then we go... This is an idea, can we find the right person to execute that with us? I'm curious to know, with something like this, where did the idea come from? Is it an interest in politics or capturing a moment or uh, I guess where, what was the initial idea? Well, we're a business full of females basically, or female dominated and we have those passionate moments where we talk about things about our kids and all of that and we're really proud. It's 125 years this month since we gave women the right to vote and Kate Shepard did all that with her team and this is another big moment in public and history for us that we should be really proud that somebody in Parliament and leading our country can be a role model for girls and boys around the country to show you that you can do anything if you put your mind to it and you can be supported. Our nation can support these kinds of opportunities which is really awesome and we yeah. talk to our Australian counterparts and our UK counterparts and they're constantly telling us yeah. how awesome we are. So we want to celebrate that and we want to relate to small little kids that are at home and they're seeing this stuff and you can just talk to them. They love books, they love interacting and you can go, this is, this is something happening now. Exactly, and it is, it is so exciting. Now Scott, this book is obviously from a very simple but clever idea. Obviously a really good illustrator was needed to sort of master it. Have you done many politicians before? Um, not for children's books. This, was a, this, this is a first, I think, for me. So um, yeah, Alison was nice enough to pitch me the idea and I, I thought it was a, a very interesting um, Opportunity and a um, lot of lot of chance to inject some fun and humour and. Oh, look at that. We're looking at some of the pictures on screen right now because you've got to get the faces just right, don't you? You need to be I yes. mean, familiar but and approachable, but mm. not scary because quite often cartoon like can be a little scary. Yeah, that's right. I sort of initially did some sort of char um, character studies yeah. um, on the people, and then it's sort of a matter of taking that sort of more realistic look and sort of bringing it down for something suitable for a children's book. We've got that image there of Jacinda DJing. Is that mm. some sort of silent disco? I notice that the uh, the baby is wearing headphones. Was there a story behind that? There is a story. Yeah, so Jacinda actually did do a DJing gig quite a few years ago yeah. for us, and it's a really iconic moment and really fun, and we'd like to think that, you know, you don't lose all of yourself when you have kids and stuff, and it's pretty fun. Kids like to dance, so we had that moment. We did the drawing. We showed Jacinda and emailed her stuff like this to just see at least check that it was appropriate. We didn't want her to, if she said she disliked yeah. it, we weren't going to publish mm. kind of thing. Mm. And she came back and said, oh, you're missing, the baby needs headphones. So we added yep. them on. Because which obviously awesome. safety first yeah. and all safety that. Yeah. Uh, no, you are, you've actually done a drawing for us here at the cafe, haven't you, Scott? Can we take a look at this? Look at this one here. So talk us through what's happening here. Um, yep, so just the um, sort of roughing out the initial line drawing yep. and just getting the, the features uh -huh. right and everything. Uh, you can probably Ooh. see what's starting to take shape and then we're just sort of locking in some some rough colours. Look at that, my old mate Mike Putter. I haven't seen him for a while. <laughs> he will return. <gasps> that is cool. Oh. And um, yes, it's just a matter of building up the, um, the detail and um, before you know it, it's... Uh, Sort of comes to life. Okay. This looks like it's done on a computer. Is, mm. is that how it kind of works these days, or is there much pen and paper still? Or no, I, I pretty much do everything digital these days. Yeah. It's just um, quicker and easier, a lot easier yeah. for making changes. So same process though. You're still using some sort of yep. a pen. It's a it's a digital pen on screen. Yep. Um, so it simulates the same sort of feel as traditional. That is so cool. I'm sorry, I just got totally fascinated watching <laughs> myself being drawn. I've never seen that actually happen like that before. Right. Look at that. Oh, Apparently, good. we hear there might be a picture of Holly too. We, That's we got that there. Oh, there. Oh, oh. There you nailed it. So, Alison, how's the book being received, just quickly? Well, it actually publishes at the moment. It's just gone into bookstores and booksellers around New Zealand. And so we've had some people over the weekend, over other media, being really, really positive and talking brilliantly about Scott's illustrations. And then, of course, there's always going to be a few people that comment on it. But 
we want people to read, we want kids to be really engaged and mm. read New Zealand content. So Has a copy made it through to Jacinda and Clark? Yeah, so a copy's been sent to Jacinda, to Winston, to Judith Collins and Gareth Morgan, people that are... In the book? Not Sorry. in the book, uh, alluded to in the book. <laughs> and so hopefully, yeah, all these people will love it and appreciate the humour and joy around it. Yeah. Who else could that be? <laughs> hang on, let me just get, where is he? Oh, hang on, I'm trying to get one. There Collins. he is. Who oh. else could that be? There's only one person that that can actually be. I love it. Look at that hair. Oh, just like to have that hair. What's next for you guys? What, uh, any other exciting projects you got going on? More Jacinda and Clark as the baby grows, maybe? Perhaps <laughs> there's a sequel with the Trials and Tribulations for Clark. I, I don't know. Hey, you know what you could do? You could do a, you could do a book about the cafe. This the goings on behind the scenes here because <laughs> that would be quite a book. But it might be, be adult only, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you both very much no for problem. joining thank us today. Now, this clever little picture book, Shh, Don't Wake the Baby, is available at all great bookstores right now.